Hello students, today we are going to cover various words which are used to describe the appearance of someone. So after watching this, you'll be in a better condition, you'll feel more comfortable to describe a person. So let's start. Overweight. Someone who has acquired more weight than required is overweight. So someone who is heavier than a healthy person is overweight. Now if the person is quite overweight, has actually gained a lot of weight more than what is needed then this person is known as obese or called as obese but this word is impolite plump is basically a better word chubby chubby is slightly overweight means uh, this person has gained some weight but uh, uh, this person still can be called healthy so some people like to be chubby but they don't want to be obese. While thin is a word which is used for the people who are slim, who are having either normal weight or little, uh, the people who are little, underweight. Slender, when you use uh, slender for a person, then you're actually appreciating the person for his health. A person is not only slim, but also fit and healthy. Slim is a better word for thin. Thin is considered impolite, but slim is considered a positive word for thin. Then skinny. The skinny is someone who is having only skin and bones, no flesh. So the skinny means someone who is too thin. Slight is also the word which is used for the same purpose. And when you make the sentence, you can make the sentence like he is skinny but if you use slight then you should say he is having a slight build or he has a slight build rather than simply saying he is slight by the way whatever words you are finding here because they are to describe the appearance of the person so they are adjectives right now let's look at the image here try to think about the appropriate words for the ladies in the picture So let's move forward. Here you see the word panchi. Panchi is the word for especially the men who have got a lot of fat on their stomach only. So they get pot belly. You can see the pot belly here. Um, so these people are pot bellied. Generally, they don't have fat on the other parts of the body, but they generally gain the fat on their stomach. Rather than saying that he is paunchy, we generally use he is having a paunch stomach. Or you can see the example here. Many men have paunch stomach in their 40s. We can also call them pot bellied. Next one is flabby. Flabby is used for those persons who are not actually walking out. And uh, as a result, they have gained a lot of fat on their various parts of their body. And... Uh, this loose fat keeps on shaking and wobbling when they move around. So these people are flabby. So we should avoid being flabby at all costs. Next one. You can see the word stout. Stout is someone who is very short but strong looking. Someone is having strong bend but the person is short, quite short. So we use the word stout for that person. Stocky is Another word uh, which is used for short person, the person may not be too short and uh, he's, he or she is having wide body. So uh, you can see the example here. For example, after Ghazni and all such kind of movies, Amir Khan looked stocky. He's a short person and having a wide body. Then curvy. Curvy is used for women having thin waist but broad hips. Skinny, as we have already seen, skinny is used for someone who is uh, very thin. And we have seen also slight can also be used. Then in the example, she has a slight build that also we have seen. Lanky is someone who is tall and thin also. And it is and he is actually he looks a little awkward. 
so the person is not uh, proportionate in terms of uh, appearance and that's why the person looks little awkward next one you can see muscular is a word which is known to all of you but let's talk about uh, the other synonyms of it you can use beefy for that person you can say that he has got an athletic body athletic build this person is brawny sturdy fit as fiddle is having a robust body a ribbed body so you can use various words shown here and i have pronounced them also beefy athletic brawny sturdy fit as fiddle robust ribbed any word you can use to describe the people who are muscular let's talk about euphemism now euphemism are the words which are little indirect and they don't often the other persons but they communicate the similar meaning for example slim is considered a euphemism for thin so instead of using thin if you use slim that would be better similarly instead of calling someone fat uh you can call those person large or plump um it's better to use these two words for fat let's look at these pictures now try to recall various words for appearance we have talked about and try to give them a word based on their body shapes let's do it now do it fast are you able to recall the words if no try to say it again from the beginning and then do do it again let's move further now we have some more words for appearance one is comely comely is someone or something which is nice to look at some something or someone uh, that looks attractive that is comely then handsome is the word which is used for men only and we can see a handsome actor uh, rithik roshan here then pretty is used for uh, women and the meaning of pretty is uh, definitely i mean uh, when we say pretty it means that someone is beautiful but the meaning is not very strong so the if the person is looking good may not be that beautiful we can call that person pretty now let's look at these words gorgeous mm -hmm. and stunning when we want to when we say someone is gorgeous or someone is stunning it means the person is quite beautiful or magnificent the person is very attractive so there we can use the words like gorgeous or stunning then presentable presentable we have few more synonyms for it uh, these are tidy well groomed elegant good looking so all these words can be used for presentable elegant is a word uh, which talks about refinement and tastefulness in appearance dress and style someone who is really graceful while presentable can be used for all those persons who are well dressed and able to speak well but elegance is more about refinement fine way of uh, moving talking and expressing yourself when you are able to do then you are elegant now let's talk about the next word that is scruffy scruffy is someone who is having untidy appearance someone who is disheveled scruffy or shabby unkempt or disheveled they all are adjectives let's talk about this one the person who whose looks are not attractive at all so we can call that person's look as plain looking this person is plain looking or unattractive hard featured the person is hard featured and ugly is a very rude word i would say in fact you see all these words written here uh, unatt unattractive hard featured ugly scruffy shabby disheveled generally we don't use in formal language and they should be avoided because persons may feel very offended when we use these words for them so we should avoid using these words in our formal communication now let's talk about hair types there are various hair types and looking at the pictures that will make it more fair 
curly uh, is this kind of hairstyle wavy you find the waves in the hair and straight i don't need to explain these are straight hairs the next one uh, about hair length based on the hair length also you can describe the person for example bald we all know who is bald and if someone is balding it means the person is losing out his hair rapidly and moving towards being bald now uh, bald and balding you have understood now let's talk about shaved head now in this case also the person is having the similar look but the person has shaved his head means he has done it by choice but in first two cases there is no choice then closely cropped hair means very short hair you can see the, the hair i mean almost looking like bald person but i mean there are very short hair on his head so closely cropped hair then the we have shoulder length hair then waist length knee length and foot length also time for exercise now try recalling the words for the images given here so we have discussed certain words about describing the appearance of the person now i want all vivian students to make a passage story using these words and discuss with the teacher in the classroom it is very important that you make a passage and story of it and discuss also with the trainer keep watching keep learning bye bye